Welcome back into Faith Today. We'll remind you, go to our website, faith2.com. We're working on putting up behind the scenes videos and photos. And also, uh, you can comment on stories. Send in some questions. If you feel like we didn't answer something fully or left something hanging out there, feel free to send us a question, and we'll try to answer those on a future show. Obviously, if you're out there on faith2.com, you've probably been on Facebook. Because I imagine so. Pretty much everybody's on Facebook today. Pretty much. Uh, pretty much. A lot of people on Facebook. My mom's not on there yet. Once yep. that happens, I think neither. everybody will have been on Facebook at yeah. that point. Uh, yeah. But being that everyone's on Facebook, some pretty interesting, sometimes sad things yeah. uh, transpire from uh, Facebook. And this is kind of one of those stories. Not a happy story. No, not a happy story. And this is one that you just... This is something they write an episode of CSI or Law and Order on. It, this doesn't happen. Um, but effectively in California, um, a girl now is alleging she was, she was mad at her boyfriend. She was venting. And she posted basically that she would pay somebody $1,000 to kill her boyfriend. And someone did and asked her for the $1,000. Now the question arises is how much responsibility she has in that murder. Um, and will she be charged with anything and found guilty? Um, of course, now she goes back and says she's kidding, but... You know, at the time, I mean, you know, <clears throat> what, what we've done is we have become, you know, it, it's not just, uh, you know, this is an extreme instance, but my goodness, how people vent on Facebook yeah, on a I status, do. it's like they don't realize, hey, everybody reads this. I'm talking to real people. Yes, yes, you, people are reading this about you. This says something about you. And, and you can't just say anything and everything yeah. on there. People are too quick these days to post their mind, you know, post their thought, you know, and their, their frustration, their grief. Uh, you know, and it's just we've, we've gotten way out of hand with that. Well, and people, you know, look, people make the statement all the time, well, I need to vent, and I have the right to vent. Now, first of all, it, look, Facebook is not the forum to vent. It's yeah. just not. It, it, you know, it's it's uh, not being serious when it says, what's on your mind? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't take that Don't seriously. Don't take that seriously. But, it, you know, I even I have questions about even the, the I have to be able to vent. You, you can talk, your, you know, talk issues out with people. The Bible says, it never, it never says to not be angry. It says not sin out of your anger. Yeah. And so I think, you know, a lot of times to me, in venting, we are getting into... Uh, a lot of times we do things that quite on, honestly are against scripture. Uh, usually we're venting against someone so or you know sometimes language that we use. Yeah. And so I really think this whole thing about I've got to be able to vent, well, you know, maybe you need to go do that to a you friend. Know, a friend, someone on face the phone. To face. But just blasting that all over Facebook is not the forum for that well, and, and don't understand always what you're doing in that process. But yeah. so many people, I mean that's what they think. They are they think they're basically out with a group of friends. And, and this is the safe place to talk about it. And but they, but they, you know, they forget that they've accepted friends' requests from right. grandma and and grandpa <laughs> and, and bosses and, and bo co yes, yeah. bosses, and coworkers. coworkers. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I mean everyone. Oh, the, and the amount of kids that, I, you know, oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I was actually even going to mention that specifically. Students posting the what they post. I, it's unbelievable yeah. some of the things they say in their Facebook post. And, you know, it's not just students, though. It's adults, too. I've, I've, had, I've, had, I've had people, you know, some students, some adults that post something on Facebook that's just, I mean, really dramatic, uh, really just, uh, you know, just dark and dreary. And then I'll send them a text or something and be like, hey, what's going on? Oh, I, nothing. I don't want to talk about it. I'm like, <laughs> you just told 400 people <laughs> hey. that something's going on. Yeah. Don't put it out there if you don't want to talk, talk, talk about it. it. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we have to be responsible for what we post, what we put. Hey, Chris wants to say something. We don't have a mic. I was just going to say, it's gotten so bad, there's actually a service that you can sign up for um, that will go and monitor uh, your social networking uh, presence on the Internet and determine if you're looking for a job. It will determine how hireable you are. Hey, yes. <laughs> Based on the things wow. Scary. Be because on social networking. Because employee, uh, employers are doing that now. They're doing part of their... Part of their background checks is they go see if they can get on your Facebook, Twitter, or something like that, yeah. and and take a look at it. And I think from from this show's perspective, we should talk about as Christians <laughs> and as 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 yeah. followers of Christ, what we are putting on our Facebook status, what we are putting out there, says a lot about who we are and, and what we believe. Absolutely, and I, I know you you got some stuff. Yeah, on that. one of the ongoing themes I think that we're going to have on Faith Today is the issue of cultural Christians versus people that are really following Jesus. People that self-identify as Christian and then people that are, are Jesus people, following Jesus. And, and there was a story on Fox News a few, uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago that, that 
uh, it, it had to do with a group of atheists that were filing a lawsuit oh, against yeah. um, the cross being erected at ground zero of uh, yeah. the World Trade Center. And, and there were thousands of comments on this page, many of whom were Christian comments. I'm, I'm just going to read you some of them. These were people that self-identified as Christians that were upset at the atheist lawsuit. Uh, one of them from uh, our area, Birmingham, Paul was his name, said, I say kill them all and let them see for themselves that there is a God. <laughs> hey, that's sick. And, and look, just, well, see, it's not Christian. It, it's <laughs> not at all not Christian. Christian. Hundreds uh, shoot them, shoot to kill. In other words, shoot the atheists. Uh, to all atheists, die and go to hell. Ha ha. If I could, I'd shoot all of you. Uh, and I'm going to edit yeah, this because it's terrible. Right. I'd shoot all of you with the 12 gauge. Okay, well, now look. But with that, with that situation, though, number one, that's on a public news site. Okay, my first question is are these plants? Are these, uh, are now, these, these people, are people who are claiming to be Christian? Yeah, who are claiming yeah, to be Christian? Yeah. Uh, and and are you know just ch saying all these things, claiming to be a yeah. Christian and, to try to, to try to make you know something look bad for Christians. However, though, I mean you know you've also got to understand. Look, there are Christian people who will say, who say they're Christian and who will cultural respond that Christians, way. Yeah. Exactly, cultural Christians who will respond that Do, way. Doing some fact checking, some of these people genuinely are fake accounts. Now, we I actually looked up several of them. Yeah. They were fake accounts. The one words, from our plants. area appears to be a real person. Um, that, so there was somebody that. who posted this on a on a on a news broad from their news Facebook. Site. Yeah, by from the way. their I, Facebook. I don't know if I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you did. Well, hey, I, I'll say this. I'm glad that someone didn't decide to kill you before you became a Christian because, I mean, you, this, is, this is completely removing grace. It's just saying, hey, I believe in Jesus now and everybody else who doesn't, you can just die. I mean, I, that's, that, who, where do you get that illogical, from Scripture? It's the epitome anywhere. of the law. I mean, yeah. it, it is. And, but it goes back to, as Christians, what we, what we put out there is so important and we got to realize the things we say everything the bible says we are ambassadors for christ as if god is making his plea to the world through us we've got to yeah. remember that that we are not we carry the name christian when you place that name on yourself you have responsibility to yourself well you know there was uh, uh stephen cornell uh or steve cornell he's the senior pastor of millersville bible church he actually wrote a little article specifically for Facebook. It can apply to you know all the other social media out there, Twitter or these news posts anywhere that you're broadcasting basically on the mm -hmm. internet. But he kind of came up with a seven do's and don'ts <laughs> of Facebook. He directed it specifically towards pastors. But it, I really think you know we all you know as Christians yeah. we need to answer some of these. Some of these you know maybe whatever, but. Uh, these seven do's here, I'm just going to hit them real quick. Annou you can announce events and teaching themes, link to helpful resources, encourage others, let people know a little about your life. A little, I guess. He's You're doing a good job on this story. Keep going. That was, was very encouraging. encouraging. Yeah. Can you post, post it on, it on Facebook? Facebook? I will. I'll go right now. Okay. All right. Share scriptures and helpful quotes. Ask for prayer for yourself and others. Limit your time on networks. Okay, those are the do's. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty hey, good. Facebook is a great resource to encourage people. It really is. Uh, no doubt about it. Look, yeah. well, your it example a while ago when you were like, you know, there are sometimes when people, I, I, I'll tell you this, uh, a specific example. There was a person that I, I friended. I really didn't even know them growing up in high school. He was a couple of years younger than I was. But, you know, small high school. He, you know, one of us requested a friend for each other, and we basically became friends on Facebook. Well, you know, he posted something one day, and I, I, I was just gripped by it. Very depressing, very sa sad. And so I sent him uh, just this long Facebook message of, hey, I, I just saw what you posted, and I've seen that kind of as a, as a, a, scheme or a theme of your posts of late, and I just wanted to, and I just laid out the gospel to him. And he emailed me right back and was just like, man, you know, thank you so much. Oh. I realize I have, you know, done this and that Great. and I've gone far. And God used that. And it was, look, we haven't really talked a whole lot since, but God used that used in that. a way uh, right there on Facebook. So it can, it be, can used be used to encourage others. I definitely think that. We all just really need to uh, come to a point where before we hit send or before we hit okay on that Twitter you feed. Think about it a little yes, bit. Yes, think, yeah. think for a second. And realize, every, a lot of people are going to be reading this. Yeah. What were the don'ts? 
real uh, quick. Well, okay, don'ts real quick, and then we'll move on. Don't post anything that you would fear re being read at church. Because it probably hey is, now. by the no, way. That's good. That sounds pretty religious. It probably is. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't engage in ongoing conversations with the opposite hey, sex. Now, no, you know what? That's good advice. That's strong. Yeah, that's good advice. Very hey, strong. We've, all, we've yeah. all heard of situations, I think, where uh, 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 husband and wife maybe hears from a boyfriend or girlfriend yeah. from the past, and it leads down uh, uh, to an affair or an almost affair. Yeah. That's uh, great advice. I yeah. think... Yeah. Hey, look, I, I, I guess uh, sharing your passwords can be sometimes a negative thing. I, I think my wife knows my password. I, my I can log into oh, yeah. her Facebook. We need to be able to do that with yeah. each other, not because we're suspicious, but because we love each other. Uh, just couple, a couple more here. This is a, another one based don't. on something we've uh, talked about earlier. Another don't that's real important is don't then about church matters or members on your staff. Yes, absolutely. Very, very good. Might don't become combative or, def uh, or defensive. Don't embarrass your family with comments or photos. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> shut, shut up, Jeez. David McConnell. <laughs> All right. Hey, so it was, a, that's, yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. That's enough. All All right, right. All right. Yeah. Hey, there was a, a story from last week. Yeah, last the, week we talked about the Pope's amazing blood. You know, they were taking a vial of it to Mexico to help uh, end the drug wars there. Well, this week, this is actually a story from previously. This is from February, but, but it gives us a chance to talk about something important. A Formula One racer from Poland, Robert Kubica, and I, I really, I'm sorry if I mispronounce his name, uh, was injured in a terrific, or a terrible, a terrific in a bad way, a horrible wreck earlier this year, and the Vatican sent him a drop of the Pope's blood, I'm not making this up, to be transfused into his body to make him get better, wow. presumably. Did he get better? I don't know. I mean, he's not dead. He's, he's still <laughs> he's looking. He's not dead I yet. looked him up. He, he's still <laughs> looking to get back into racing. But it's just amazing. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the Cardinals said, uh, we wish Kubico a swift return uh, to full help. And the connection, he said the connection to John Paul II, who was a keen sportsman, would strengthen his countryman's journey back to the track. Uh, we, wow. we, are, we are told in Scripture to uh, everything points to Jesus. We, we, we're, we're even told, don't call anyone father. Don't call anyone teacher. You've got one father in heaven. You have one, you have one teacher. That everything points to Jesus. And I think that's kind of the sad thing here. And that's the message that we really need to turn this on. Is it, we are saved. We are healed. Uh, by the blood of Christ being yeah. applied to our life through or by faith, by faith yeah. in Christ, and so uh, that that I'm going to say is if 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 healing comes physically, it comes through the name of Jesus, yes. in and spiritual healing uh, for all of eternity comes through faith yes. in Jesus and faith alone in one name, not the name of the Pope, not the name of a pastor, the by, name of Jesus. By Jesus's stripes we are healed. By His wounds we are healed. Yeah, we're actually going through a series at, at our local church, Agape, on uh, 1 Peter. The second verse in, in 1 Peter is really awesome. It says, uh, We've been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying work of the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and sprinkled with His blood. It, it's the bl blood is not a very it's popular not, yeah, thing. Not very popular to talk it, about. It's not the Pope's blood that's going to heal you or make you better or end the drug wars in Mexico. It's the blood of Jesus blood shed of on this cross for us. Yeah. And may, may that word go out. May everyone who hears it believe. And, yes, and the believe prayer. that it believe. is, you know, Jesus shed his blood. He, his body was broken for us. Yes. His blood was shed for us yes. for the forgiveness of our sins. Amen. Amen. That sounded. Yeah, I'm not Catholic. singing. No, it was Presbyterian. Hey, man. Oh, Presbyterian? Yeah. Okay. Or Episcopalian. Or whatever. Or whatever. We, we love all our brothers and Jesus. <laughs> Very <laughs> tough. Something. Well, well, hey, don't Greek word, though. Yeah, that's a good Greek <laughs> word. Don't forget to check out our website, faith2.com. We'll be back next week with more Faith Today stuff. Thanks for joining us. Grace and peace.